think hello 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 instagram hello facebook i'm nikki from gracie's house i'm a brand ambassador for redesign with prima and i am live on the redesign with prima facebook page and instagram profile hello to everybody as you come on please drop me a little hello tell me where you're watching from if you've got any questions i will do my very best to answer instagram folks I will do my best to answer questions because once this goes over onto Instagram TV, for some reason, your questions and comments will disappear. So unless you'd add another one, if I haven't already answered, I will do my best to do so. Hi, Clav002, thank you. Um, Facebook people, normal, I can, I can answer comments as we go along or I can catch up with you afterwards if I miss anything. Okay, guys, brilliant. So, oh man, it's hot. We've gone from last week, this day last week, we were worried about whether it was gonna rain. Hi Patricia, hi Heather, thanks for joining me. We were worried if it was gonna rain, we've got the landscapers in doing the patio. This week is hot, guys. For us, this is hot. Hi Wendy from Alberta. So thank you all for joining me. I am gonna be working on this sweet little piece here. I'm gonna give it a little spin. So we have some nice panels, we have some, these look really, really similar to um, some of the molds that are available on one of the, on the little accent molds. They're not, this is standard for your dab. You love my accent, thank you. <laughs> Cheryl from Clearwater, Florida, lovely. So, but these were actually part of the original piece. So we have these lovely inset panels uh, framed out with trim that I didn't have to add. They were already there, happy days. Shabby Kelly, Kelly, you've got cold, really? Goodness me. So we have, um, we have these nice little drawer fronts with some framed out detail here. And then we've got another panel on the side. So I'm thinking I have painted in this really, really pretty subtle color. This is from Paint Couture and it's called Linear. Hi, Redesign with Prima. I'm gonna go with Roz. Thank you for coming on. Uh, so Linear, it's a really, really subtle, beautiful, hi Adele. Um, I'm gonna say a very, very pale blue, but it's more like a gray with a hint of blue. It's one of those, it's like a white with a hint of color. So it's very, very pretty, very subtle. Um, and because it's so subtle, it still makes it really girly. I think. Liz, I know, sunny England. It makes a change, doesn't it? Winter's felt long, man. We didn't really have a spring. We've gone, we're gonna rain and be cold and boom, now we've got the sun. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Laurie. Thank you all for joining. So let's crack on. I'm gonna be looking at Peaceful Flight. Beautiful. So this was, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this was on the last release. It definitely wasn't this latest, like part two. I think it was on the one before that, I think. But it's really, really pretty. Anyone that was a fan of French ceramics and the beautiful blues, this kind of does that job, but have you heard the news? French ceramics is back. So I might have to get my hands on one and get a project done, one of my favorites. But this is, so we've got birds, we've got flowers, we've got branches, really pretty. Leslie, have you just ordered this one or have you just ordered um, the French ceramics, which is back? They'd go beautifully together, actually. Heather, blue, I know I do dig blues myself. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is layer. Um, Paula, hello from, Ma I'm gonna hopefully get this right, Manitoba. Let's, let's hope I've got the, the pronunciation correct, yes. It's really pretty, really pretty. So this one is, let's just double check. It is 24 by 35 inches. So this is one of the ones that comes in three sheets. Um, there, is a, there isn't a repeat on this one. So you, you're free to cut out and not have to worry about matching up your patterns. So I'm just gonna lay those pieces down. My thinking is I'm going to do Obviously side panels are gonna have this on and we'll find a little bit of floral to put in these drawers. And then we're gonna layer over with some stenciling in a beautiful sort of rosy goldy, coppery gold. Mm, it's, it's kind of a mix of all of them. Hello, Joan. 
Um, Melita, I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna guess saying hello from it Italy, but I can't, I'm not that good. I can't um, translate without Google Translate. Um, so I'm gonna have a little look at the pieces. What I don't need to do, I don't think, is use a whole, uh, I don't want a whole piece because I want to kind of cut it round my frame here. So I'm feeling I quite like this section and, and then I can trim it to fit. So it's kind of coming across like that, if that makes sense to you. So I'm gonna just cut that section out. We may lose a little bit of the other florals but I want a bird in there. I want a bird on both sides because I don't think the drawer fronts are deep enough to have a bird on. Um, Kelly, it's a sweet little side table. It isn't like a bedside. I've had them before. I've never managed to get a pair of these, but I've done singles quite often and they sell quite well. People like to use them as like putting a little plant on or something in a hallway, for example. So what I'm feeling, let me just make sure I've got the right side, is, is kind of here. That butterfly, I just want the butterfly to come inside my line. And I'm going to trim down here and then that curve and then go along this line here. So there's a couple of ways. You can either use a pair of scissors to kind of score. Um, I've seen people use a pen and follow the line round. I'm just gonna cut that tiny little bit of their tail off because I wanna make sure that that butterfly is complete. So I'm just trying to score, I'll keep it level, try and score around that curved line there, a wee bit, and then score along there. And I think we've got that. So I'm gonna just cut that line. And we can always trim, follow up with a little extra trimming. In fact, what I'm going to do is go inside my line on the curve in case I've not quite got that right. Because we haven't measured it essentially. Kind of freehanded it and then we can see if it fits still. There we go. Yeah, so I can cut a bit more into that. So that I did get quite a good line actually. Okay. That should sit in there better now. That's better. So I think that's going to look really cute here. Erin, hello my darling, how are you? You've been creating some gorgeous things just lately. Hello from Spain, Stucco Vittoria. So I'm going to pop you there. It's a little bit brighter the blue in this than French ceramics. The French ceramics has got more darker tones in it I think if I was to compare side by side. So as we always say, there's a stick, one of these in, um, yeah, good afternoon to me it is, yes. So there's a stick in every tube. And then if you want to progress into a plastic redesign with Prima Transfer tool, these are pretty awesome too. <clears throat> but I'm just using my stick today. And if you watch my lives, you'll see that I often switch between the two as I'm working. But certain pieces feel like they're stick pieces and some pe some feel like a transfer tool piece. Hi, Kathy from New York. Hello from North Carolina on Instagram. So just gently start peeling your top sheet away. Always keep rubbing, just in case you've missed an edge. You don't want that to lift and flip back onto the rest of what you're doing. You don't want to miss a piece. If you, here's a little tip I'm gonna use, what have I got? I'm gonna use the backing sheet. If you've got some spare um, top sheet left, birds, lorry, I know, cute, eh? Um, just checking, make sure I haven't missed any comments. Hello from Costa Rica, wow, hi. And um, Sylvia 
see birds and hear them. Yes, yeah, you'll be able to hear the birds in the background. So if you've got a spare piece of top sheet, you can use that, or I'm just gonna use the backing sheet because I don't want to ruin my paintwork here, but I want to get into that, um, I wanna get into that edge. And similarly, if you've cut designs, hi from Portugal, if you've cut designs and you've had to go really close to the edge, so you've got no Gracie's voice in the background. Yes, she's running around because it's half term, Kelly. Um, yeah, and it, so if you had an edge, but your pattern was right up to the edge, get yourself another piece of paper and rub so that you're not um, rubbing onto your paintwork. Because we don't want to cause any damage to our paintwork by rubbing it. Oh, this is really pretty. Really lovely. So this is my first time using this one. And it's really got that feel of you know, that blue and white china. Hi from Colorado, Suzanne. And um, another Canada. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it really reminds me of the crockery, the blue and white sort of crockery china dinner service, however you like to call it. Just making sure. Karen, it's pretty, isn't it? Really pretty. Um, if you haven't already hooked up with a retailer that's close to you, there is a link in my um, post description to find a retailer. It's always nice to find someone that's close to you that you can go and talk to and look at the products on hand. Um, how cute is that? Oh, I'm loving that. You used it interchangeably with the watercolour flowers. Oh my goodness. Have I seen that? I don't think I've seen that. So that's, that's one side done already. Look how quickly that, that happened. My voice is breaking up. I've got full signal, so I'm so sorry. Um, pop, over to, um, pop over to Facebook if you're struggling here on Instagram. I don't know why, I've got perfect signal across the board. Diane, hi from Massachusetts. Okay, let's switch, let's do the other side. And I want to find something similar to that, really, but I don't want the same piece. So what have we got? Let's have a little look. That might be quite nice. That's just got one bird on. I don't want the same two birds. That's the same. Yeah, I think that one's nice. So I'm going to go for this piece on this side. You are far away. Hi, Khan, uh, from Pakistan. Wow, I don't know if we've ever had anyone watching from Pakistan. Not that I'm aware of. Lovely. Oh, okay, someone's saying they can hear perfectly. Oh, good, okay, good, good, good. I'm sorry if anyone is struggling. So I'm gonna use this one on the other side. So it's got the same one bird, but the rest of the flowers uh, are different. So we're gonna switch over here. Let's have a little look. I don't mind. I think we'll lose those twigs. Yeah. And that bird's gonna be facing the other way. So what I might do is just cut, cut there. These um, Wedgwood pattern, Nancy, yes, Wedgwood, very Wedgwood, especially with that pale bluey gray as well. So anyone who hasn't used these before, you do get these really handy Harry grid lines if you're doing them on nice square pieces. So I'm not gonna cut down this line, but I'm gonna use that as a guide to cut a little bit off the edge. I'm just gonna lose the twigs. So we've got that there. And I think I'm just gonna cut here, that guide line along there, so that I'm sitting on that bottom frame, frame down section here. Lovely. And I don't need to worry about the curve. Um, how long is your paint drying before starting? Um, Nancy is gorgeous, thank you. Uh, Wendy, paint drying, to be honest, if it's dry to the touch and you're confident that it's nice and dry, you kind of generally can go ahead. If you're nervous, 
a little rule of thumb is let it dry overnight and then you've got no concerns. This, this has been sat and ready because I started painting this last, last week and then I thought what a lovely project this would be. So I've, I've left it sat, so it's been sat for a couple of days. But as long as it's dry, your, the transfer shouldn't pull the paint up or anything. If it's starting to pull paint up, then that's probably because you, you, that's a paint and adhere, adhesion issue rather than a problem with the transfer if that makes sense, because, you know, the, the, um, the glue, the adhesive on a transfer is not strong enough to pull paint off that's stuck to the piece properly and as it should be. It's strong enough to stick to the piece. See how lovely this is coming, this is releasing. I'm really not having to press very hard. I have to say, I found as a general rule, pink chalk paint is a very, very happy marriage with the redesign with Prima transfers. Um, they release nicely. Because it's got really nice, smooth, self-leveling properties as a paint, it really does match up very nicely with the products. And that's not to say that other paint brands don't do as well, but at the moment, while I'm using Paint Couture, I, I'm finding that the transfers really, really work well. And, and you know, apart from cutting around those edges, we've got a nice, it's a nice flat surface we're working with. Last week I was working with the uneven surfaces and grooves and things. Uh, this week we're nice, nice and flat today. Out of hand, a van. Has the base been painted, uh, sorry, the base paint been sealed? No. With Redesign with Prima Transfers, you absolutely do not need to seal before applying a transfer. You seal afterwards. There are some other brands that require that extra step. We, you do not with Redesign with Prima. If you've got a piece that's been sat and is sealed and cured and you decide you want to add a transfer to it, that isn't a problem either. It's more than fine to add a transfer to a piece. In fact, if you go back and have a look at last week's live that I did, that was a piece that had been painted a couple of months ago has sat for a while, not sold, and I decided that a transfer was what it needed. Hi, Katie. So yes, you, you do not need to, but on the other hand, if you've got a piece that's been sat, sealed, cured, by all means, you don't need to strip anything off. Wax, you would need to remove, recommended, before adding a transfer. All this information today. Okay, so we've done this section. We're good. Let's, let's get all the transfer sections done before we move on to stamps and waxes. So what we've got here, mm, that might work, but let's have a little look at the little flower pieces. Let's cut that. So, so far I've only used about half of one of my three sheets from this transfer. So for value for money, especially when you're doing smaller pieces like this, you can get a real bang for your buck um, with the, the value of one transfer. So this is just, this is one of the smaller ones, not the really new small ones, but out of the standard size range, this is a smaller one with three sheets and I'm not even gonna use a third of that transfer for this project. So you can just see how your money, how far your money can stretch when you're using these. Um, let's have a little look. I quite fancy maybe a little piece of that down in that corner there. So we'll just do some trimming. And I am, oh, I'm eyeballing this now. I'm not really measuring because I can trim, I can trim in a second. I'm going to cut that bit off there and see how that looks. So I think that might look quite cute there. Maybe just a little slither off there more.
sort of frames it out a little bit. Yep, I like that. Let's stick that there. I'll also show you the handles that I've got on this. So I'm just giving it a little press down with my hands first because they're quite warm and the warmth from my fingers will start to activate that adhesive on the back of the transfer. I'm just making sure I've not missed any comments. Nikki, Drewson Holmes, nice to, nice to hear from you. How are you? Are you busy? Are you warm? Are you loving it? <laughs> us, I don't know how about you, most of you guys in the US, but us English or British, should I say, we are great for, in the winter, we'll go, oh, do you know what? It's just so cold, I can't wait for the summer. And about a week into summer, we are complaining that it's too hot. <laughs> May, if your transfer overlaps on glass, does it need to be sealed? May, you don't need to, to, you don't need to seal on glass. Um, most people that are gonna transfer on glass will, it will be a mirror or something like that. If it's, if it's a tabletop, then I'd probably recommend not to put it on because you can't seal them, but generally people use them for a more decorative purpose. And obviously if you, if you put any kind of sealer onto glass, it's gonna, a uh, glass or a mirror, it's gonna go murky because you're not gonna get the reflection of the mirror. Barb, hello my darling, how are you? Hi Susie on Instagram as well. Uh, Nikki from Jerusalem Home, very hot. And you've got, you've just, oh no, boiling in the car waiting for second jabs. Oh, no fun, no fun. So yeah, no requirement of sealing on glass. But we've had all day already, we've been out in the garden enjoying it. And it has been lovely to say. So that's really, really cute, that section. You're trying to finish painting your workshop. Oh, wow. Um, so these are the handles. Let's just show you these. The little, you know, little, little French provincial cuties. So I've sprayed these with a paint that's supposed to be copper coloured. And I have to say, it's quite dark for copper. And then I added, um, a coppery wax but it was too much too much of a, a pop so I've toned it down with some eternal so it's kind of they've kind of got a little co the coppery gold a, a real mix um, the paint color someone's just said came in late kickash hello my lovely how are you it does it is it's probably even paler than a baby blue this is linear from the paint couture range so it's a very very subtle more baby blue almost almost grey, it's like a hint of. It is really, really pretty, very classy and elegant colour. Karen, that's what you thought, yes. Oh, you did your f first transfer on glass, lovely. Don't forget to share it in the Redesign with Prima group, please. We love to see your creations. Um, let's see what else we're going to add here. So I do like that flower. I don't, I, again, I'm gonna cut the twigs off. Not that I really don't like the twigs, but for this, I don't think I need them. So I'm just cutting around those twigs. I'm gonna cut, mm -mm -mm. let's just take that bit there. Get rid of that piece. And because don't forget, I want to put some little bits of stamp in here. Um, out of hand, you're new to transfers. What's the best way to seal? We recommend a water-based um, top coat. If you go to the Facebook Redesign with Prima group, there's a file section and there's a whole list of everything that we recommend. And it's what we've, we've all worked with, we know that works. There's a few products that we say not to use. You can use wax, um, but yeah, a water-based varnish slash top coat, um, polycrylic. I think is the one that Roz particularly likes. Um, the Paint Couture um, top coats work really, really well. Dixie Bell's fine. Don't use Gator Hide or anything that's, um, there's a there's a, a specific description. They're water-based, but they're kind of adapted to make them even harder and they don't play nicely with the transfers. So the standard satin and flat top coats are fine. Steer clear of anything that's Gator Hide and of that ilk. I'm um, just checking, I'm making sure I've not missed anything else. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. I think I could 
could just pop that here and just take that, maybe take that leaf off. Just cut that there. So that slips there. I need to just trim that there. That's better, I think. No. Just getting those angles right and just trimming it down. That's better. And then I can just cut that bit of the leaf there. So I'm just going to go into that crease with my fingernail and trim that off as well. Just so that we can sit that piece nicely in there. Can you see? Just a diddy piece. If you use Gator Hide, use their satin coat first. Yes, Kikash, you're absolutely right. If you really are, if you really, really do require that extra, um, that extra protection that the Gator Hide can provide, then use, I would recommend doing a couple of coats of satin or flat top coat before using Gator Hide, for sure. But the Fusion top coat works. Um, you've got lots of options. Just trying to get into that gap there. There we go. Yeah, there's all sorts of chew. There's, I mean, kids are going bonkers now. The, now the sun's finally out. I think there's paddling pools going on. There's lots of screaming <laughs> in the background, but it's nice. I've missed a bit there. Oops, look at that. That bit's just flipped around. Let's get, let's get a little bit that I can use as a stem for that. Got there, that might do it. I just pulled a bit off and it hadn't adhered properly, so my mistake, user error. But I'm gonna snippety snip a tiny piece to add on and fill that gap. And you would never know. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Okie dokes. So I think I'm going to move on to the gold. I've got several stamps to choose from and I can't quite make my mind up yet until I knew what I was going to be working with. So I've pulled out Chateau de Saverne. Karen, what a relief. You've just put gator hide over flat top coat, but only had one coat. Showing streaky on the black paint, but we'll do one more coat. Ah, yes. Good, good. So yes, I've got Chateau de Saverne. I've got Linear Floral. I have got, what's this one? Where, where, where's the name? Floral Script, because I think there's a little bit of, there's nice roses here. I think that might be the one I'll go for. And Chateau de Maison, but I can already, I already know that one's gonna be out. Let's see how big these ones are. Hmm. I've got a feeling I'm gonna go for Floral Script because I like these rosy pieces down here. So, so these are the um, stamps. Anyone who hasn't seen these stamp sets from Readers Album Prima, they are pretty cool. You get quite a lot, obviously they're reusable. You can use them with a stamp block. You can use them with paint. You can use them with um, inks and they're cool. And this has got butterflies on as well, actually, so this will sit there quite nicely. So I'm going to pull this section off. I'm not going to use all of it, so I'm only going to be painting with parts of it. You're based in India. Is the Prima Transfer range available in India? In all honesty, I'm not sure. I will put a link once this has gone to I um yeah once this has gone to Instagram TV. I will put a link in the description as a for a search for a retailer find a retailer um off the top of my head i'm sorry i can't i'm not sure it's going to be cute isn't it karen yes i think it's going to be cute so i have got my trusty redesign with Re prima roller and the little acrylic plate that comes with that now i've picked out a really really pretty color so this is cool this is from the sparks range which is Art Alchemy, um, and they're little acrylic paint pots. And um, this is called Chest of Gold. Now, I don't see, I don't know if you can see, it's got quite a shimmer. It's gold, it's got a bit of copper, it's almost got a pink tone in there, 
really really cute so this is the color i've picked to do with the stamping because i thought it sat back quite nicely with what i've already done with the handles you see cute um, i've also picked out aged brass as my little art alchemy wax to then pick out some details on our raised carved pieces so again that sits back a little i mean this has got more pinky tones in but to match a wax would probably be almost impossible. It'll it'll get there. I might need to mix a couple of waxes up, but let's crack on with the stamps. I'm going to struggle, I think, in these sections because there's it's a big stamp, so we'll just do the best we can. Oh, look at that! Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. It's a bit bronzy, it's a bit coppery, it's a bit gold. It's sort of got pinkiness to it. It's dead pretty. And this stuff goes far. So you literally only need a tiny little dot. And I'm just gonna work out what part I want of my stamp. And I think I'm gonna start over here because I've got a bit more to go on. And I think I'm gonna use just this section of the roses here is what I'm going to go for. So I just pour a tiny little peak, little blob almost of my metallic, spread it around with my roller. Ooh, can you see? Lush, lush colour. You don't want too much paint, you want a nice even cover on your roller because you don't want to, I'm just going to use my hands to apply this. Um, because you don't want to get paint into all the little, the, the, the recessed areas. Hi. Hello, Facebookers. Are you still there? I haven't lost you. Please say I haven't lost you. Okay. Can you see the shimmers? You see where it is and where it isn't and the difference. Lush. Okay. I might need a bit more than that, actually. I might have been a bit stingy. Let's pop a little bit more on. There we go, a bit more coverage on the leaves there. I'm just gonna wipe a bit off the butterfly because I don't want I don't want that on there. And I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna add it kind of here. Um let me just might need a bit more. Like that. So you just press in. If you've got a stamp, you it, I think because I'm sitting into this recess, the stamp wouldn't really, the, the block, the stamp block wouldn't really work. But try and put equal pressure across the whole, like all onto the ends of the leaves. Don't wiggle it. You wanna press firmly down. And then I'm gonna lift that off. Oh, pretty. Can you see? Frozen, yes, I lost you for a minute. And it said I had poor internet and it was lying and I didn't. It was, it was fine. <laughs> So I just want this like really subtle kind of layering over the top. Is that working for you? Like, working for me. Okay, let's swizzle back round here. And I might just on hit this one, I might just do a little, a little gold butterfly, I think. I think that would look sweet. I know, technology lies, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna use the butterfly here. I'm just going to take that bit off from the leaves around it where I've overlapped. Okay, everyone's everyone's looking good. Okay, so I'm just going to pop my little gold butterfly here. Sweet. Can you see? Just a little bit of layering up. Let me see how we're going to fix this into there. I think we'll go with those same roses. Let's see if I need any more paint. It's where it's warm, everything's drying quite quickly here as well for a change. Let's see what we can get in there. Um, no, I'm going to grab off 
half of that. I'll try and get it in there. I'm going to go here. Phone me now as well. Luckily, I have my phone set to silent and do not disturb. But it's you know, you couldn't write it, could you? Let's have a little look. There we go. So I couldn't get it in there because um, because of the way it's it's designed. Bob, it was way worse on Instagram. Oh, well, I'm hopefully you're back now. I thought we'd had this settled. We had some problems for a while and it seemed to have, it seemed to have settled down, but it's, it's um, rearing its ugly head again. Okay, and I'm gonna do a butterfly up on that one now as well, on that drawer. Um, and we'll go that way because we did it the other way on, on the side. Oops, oh, that's just dropped down. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, let me get a wipe. Oh. So as I placed it there, the weight of the stamp, so normally you would, you'd place this on its back to stamp that front so that you weren't, um, I'm just making sure I've not missed anything there. Yeah, normally I would stamp flat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stamp up like this. But um, having to do three different surfaces, that was never going to work for me. <laughs> Let's just try that again and I will take the weight of the stamp this time. There we go. So that's cute. Um, and I want to wipe my stamp off as well. The quicker you can wash your stamps out, the better for getting all the paint off. And of course, if I leave this till the end of my session, I'm going to... It's already dried on. I'm going to have to scrub that really hard now. Never mind. Okay. So let's move on. I'm going to pop my lid back on my paint. But it's just cute little touches and, and layers. I really love I really love this set of roses here over this bit here. Really pretty. Sylvia, you technically you could cut the stamp. Um, if you if you knew if you knew you weren't going to use ever this as a whole piece, then yes, you could potentially cut that section. Or, you know, but but these are um, I'm not gonna, I can't, I'm not sure how much they are in dollars, if you're dollars, but I think they're quite an expensive thing to cut up because they're reusable. Um, I'm not sure you'd want to do that. Unless you were gonna be doing the same thing repetitively with it. But yes, you, they, they, the material is cuttable. Um, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna use my aged brass and I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it. It's not a okay, it's very soft because it's warm in here. And I'm gonna go and highlight all my trims just to frame out the drawers. I think I'm not sure if Instagram's completely frozen, but I've had I haven't had anyone speak for a while. Is it still is it still awful on Instagram, folks? We were having a really good run of it, weren't we? so can you just see how that extra level of depth just is going to make those drawers stand out i'm going to pop it on the flowers down here to make those stand out let's do that one This is one of my favourite colours. I use this quite often. It's very choppy over there, Barb. Okay. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. We started off strong. And this ties in quite nicely. What I might do is, is get some Eternal. I might pop some of the... Oh, let me think. What other colours have we got? What have I got here? Element is quite a nice colour as well, actually. And just kind of blend the two together. So that's element. 
pinks is just a slightly pinkier tone. That's aged brass is the small one. Element is the, is it element that right now? Yes, element. Um, just to give some different, yeah, that's pretty too. Very, very subtle. It probably, it definitely won't even show up on the camera there. But it just gives a different, a different level. Cute, 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 cute. I definitely need to stop storing my waxes in my workshop. They're all melting. So let's go around here. And we'll do the same as this one. Little birdies. So we've got these cute swashes in the corners on this piece. Liz, what am I using on the trim? So I've got two different ones. I've got a small, the smaller one is the Art Alchemy Wax in aged brass. Is that the right way? Yeah. Aged brass. So that's the smaller pot. And then the bigger one is decor wax. So it comes in tubes now um, in Element. So you, if you ordered this now, you would get it in a tube. But the product is the same. Exactly so. It really just frames out all the work that we've done beautifully. And these two colours, very similar, but just give you two different kind of depths. Oh, it's so pretty. Oops, smudged, clumsy. If you get it quick, you can usually come off with a baby wipe. There we go. If not, if you don't realise, and there's some you want to, to take off later, it will come off with mineral spirits or white spirits in the UK is what we call it. Sylvia, it does make a lot of difference, doesn't it? You preferred the tins, Barb. Yeah, I know what you mean. I do, I mean, I've used, I always thought I was gonna really much prefer the tins, but now I've got used to the tubes. I can't, it's just, it's, yeah, it's whatever. And if I'm using the tube, I just squeeze it onto a little bit onto a plate or onto the back of my hand. I don't, and I just use it a little bit at a time and it's fine. So I'm not going to go crazy into, you know, into ha getting in by hand, all of those details. For this piece, I don't, I just don't think it needs it. I want it to be pretty and light. I don't want it to be all about the gold. But that's really sweet. I like it a lot. Let's go around here. Just do these finishing touches here. And you don't need to press hard, you're just, you're just hitting those raised points. Lexi Dog, you love the colours, thank you. It's, they all just work quite nicely together. And keep your, keep your finger kind of nice and flat if you can, so that you're not touching any of your paintwork like I did just now. And I'm just going to go back in with my, uh, oops, just got that under my nail. Those wax are so soft in this heat. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of that element to just pick out the pinkier tones in the paint that we used. Nice. It's nice, nice. Okay. Let's get the lids on. Okay, so I think we're kind of done. Karen, you went through almost an entire pack of baby wipes yesterday, cleaning your stamping of an, on a mirror. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I've never done it on a mirror. I've never... No, I haven't stamped on a mirror, but I can imagine that was tricky. Yeah, definitely. So let's get the... Let's just push the handles in. Now one of these fits the one and one fits the other. They don't, they, they don't interchange. That's the bigger one. Let's just push them on so that we can get full effect. Otherwise, oh, 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 except for top coating it, we're done. So how cute is that? I've got a little bit there that I can just see that I've done. Let's just get that off. There we go. 
sweet. So let's just do a little spin. I'm just gonna make sure, yeah, we've got everything on Instagram. So we've used the Peaceful Flight transfer, which is the lovely blue birds and flowers. And we've used it on the inset panels, just a touch on these drawers at the front. And then on that side panel as well. And then we've used just a little section from the floral script stamp. Let's just pick that one up. So that's this one here. So we've used some sections of this piece at the bottom. And then we've used those two waxes, which were, let's just recap. The paint color was chest of gold that I used on the stamps. And the two that I used is aged brass and element. So this is an oldie but a goodie. Not not um, not used this much. People don't don't seem to use that colour too much. Suzanne, thank you, indeed. Um, so see you this time next week. Um, no, I've got no idea what I'm going to do next week. I need to plan that. I can't even give you a little sneak sneaky idea. Um, if you haven't already, pop over and give Gracie's house some love. I'm Nikki from Gracie's house. If you missed the beginning. Uh, in Facebook, there's a link in the comments and Instagram, just find me under Gracie's House UK. I think it's Gracie's underscore House UK. Um, there's all the links that you need on Facebook. If you go into the description, you can find a retailer. There's a link, if you're in the UK, a link where you can buy Redesign with Prima goodies. And there's a link for the US customers to buy Redesign with Prima's goodies. Erin, stamping a window. Is that for me to do next week? Probably not. I don't, we don't get windows here like that. We don't, you know, the decorative, we don't, yeah, Erin, <laughs> We don't get those chuck away windows like, um, like the, the, you guys over in the US seem to find them. So yeah, this is my slot. I will see you this time next week. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing this little project come together. Thanks for watching guys, bye.